Good day to all my students in electronic circuits and devices laboratory. Today we're going to discuss our first experiment. Our first experiment is familiarization of diodes. So the objective here is to investigate the characteristics of a typical germanium and silicon semiconductor diode. Since we are only going to use simulation software, we won't be able to demonstrate how a germanium diode behaves because uh, based on our library of components, we don't have any germanium type diodes. So we will uh, investigate only characteristics of a silicon semiconductor diode. Now let's go to our circuit diagram. So we have two circuit diagrams. Basically they are uh, similar. The only difference is that the orientation of the uh, silicon diode. So in uh, the first figure, uh, the diode is forward biased. And uh, in the second figure, the uh, silicon diode is reverse biased. So, in this uh, diagram, we are going to adjust the potentiometer and get the value of forward current. This is for the first figure. Uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, milliamperes. And based on these values we are going to tabulate our readings for forward voltage because forward voltage is when a diode is forward bias and for table 1.3 that was table 1.2 for table 1.3 we are going to tabulate a reverse current when we apply a reverse voltage of 12 volts okay so let us now uh, draw our first diagram using simulation software multi-sim so we'll now run our uh, software we will wait the software to to load up in some cases it will really take time to to load the circuit depends upon your computer really so the multi sim is now loading up and uh, okay so once your your multi-SIM is already up, you can now start uh, collecting the components for your uh, circuit. So as you can see, uh, in our circuit, we have 12 volt, 12 uh, volt DC source, and we have one potentiometer, one kilo ohm, and we have a one kilo ohm uh, resistor and we have a uh, silicon diode in this case we will use a uh, 1n401 diode and we will monitor the uh, forward current as indicated in table 1.2 and we will for every uh, forward current we will tabulate our uh, forward voltage okay so uh, let's now uh, start uh, drawing our circuit diagram the sim so let's start with our DC source okay so by default it's really 12 volts then let's uh, get our ground okay then so you have now your 12 volt DC source Ground. let's uh, get our potentiometer 
so let's get a uh, potentiometer uh, one kilo ohm so choose that one then as you can see this potentiometer is facing in or the direction or the orientation of the potentiometer is not yet uh, uh, oriented uh, on the right side here so let us flip this one horizontally so that this uh, terminal here is uh, oriented on the right side then let's get another fixed resistor also one kilo ohm and let's put it uh, here and then let's get a diode so let's get a diode uh, one N401 and let's put it here and let's rotate it uh, 90 degrees okay so let's now connect our components or let's, uh, connect the circuit okay so this is let's connect this to ground then Let's connect this one here. Then, from a one kilo ohm resistor, let's have our ammeter. So let's connect this one. The diode, and then let's connect a voltmeter that will measure the the voltage the forward voltage across the anode and cathode terminal of uh, the diode so to set this as an ammeter double click this one and this is voltmeter so click ammeter and this is dc is ac so let's just uh, choose dc and this one is voltmeter and dc so that's already okay now for our potentiometer, the key here which is A, if you press A, then it will increment. If you press shift A, then it will decrement. Now how much will be the decrement? So we'll just choose a small value. Let us say we have an accurate reading of our uh, forward current and forward voltage so let's set this one to zero okay and I think we are done with our circuit so let's now run the simulation okay so press run and let us observe our reading so our reading is very small okay so let's increase our our let's adjust our potentiometer in order to get our first expected reading is based on table 1.2 uh, we should get 0.1 milliampere or 100 microampere and let's observe our reading for VF or forward voltage okay so let's increase by pressing A okay so let's stop so we need uh, 100 microamperes for is just equivalent to uh, 0.1 milliampere so this is now 112 so let us decrease it 104 97 so let's just choose 104 so for 104 or point, uh, 0.104 milliampere our forward voltage is uh, 418 millivolt or 0.41 volt so here for 0.1 milliampere or 100 microampere your reading here is 0.41 millivolt so let's now go to 0.3 uh, milliampere or 300 microampere so let's increase our this to 43 now to 53 290 so this is 300 microampere or 0.3 milliampere our reading is 0.47 so as you can see as we increase 
the forward current our forward voltage is slightly increasing also so let's now go to 0.5 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let's now go into 0.5 milliampere or uh, 500 microampere so we uh, uh, So we have now 503 microampere or 0.503 milliampere. Our reading is almost 0.5 millivolt. So let's now go to 1 milliampere. So let's increase this further. As you can see here. So this is 972. So let's increase it. So we have now 1 milliampere. So this is a 1 milliampere. And we have a reading on 0.5 4 millivolt okay so let's now go to uh, 2 milliampere as we increase this one here so we are increasing this one and we release it and this 1.55 so it's still lacking so 1.9 let's get uh, try to get 2 or very near to 2 so that is 199, 2.08 milliampere, and we have 0.57 millivolt. So let's now go to point or 0.3 milliampere. So we increase this one again. We release, so this is 2.5. So 2.7, uh, 2.958. So we have now 3.72 milliampere, we have 0.59 millivolt. Okay, so uh, also take note of the value here because these are the values that we are going to tabulate here. So we are already in 3 milliampere. So we go now to 4. So we increase this one. Let's monitor our ammeter. Now 4 milliamperes and we have 0.61 millivolt. Okay, or rather 0.6 volt. Also, that my previous reading uh, before is in volt, not 0.6, 0.57 in volt. So this is 0.61 volt. So we go to 5 milliampere. this point four four point nine three six so very near so five milliamperes we have point six two millivolt and our last reading is the here is six milliampere Six milliampere, and we have point six three volt. So that will be the end of table one point two here. So let's now uh, stop the simulation and let us uh, reverse the diode uh, for for the second part of the circuit. Second circuit, this one. Okay, so. For the second circuit, we'll just reverse the diode. So just uh, remove this one, okay, and this one as well. So let's just flip this uh, horizontally, vertically rather. So this one is the next one here, and here. Uh, for a reverse voltage of 12 volts based on table 
VR. Uh, VR is reverse voltage. How much will be our reverse current? So let's try. So run the simulation. So we have a reverse voltage of 7.967 volt. So let's increase this to 100%. So for 100%, we have a reverse voltage of 11.99 volt or 12 volt. And our reverse current is still 0 ampere. So for your uh, task, for this one, you are only going to answer part 7. Okay? So there is only one task here that is to explain the values of forward voltages BF in table 1.2 and the value of reverse current in table 1.3 for silicon diode. So based on the experiment, why is it that these values are what appeared in our experiment? Okay, so uh, you have to read about silicon diode. It's, it's forward voltage and it's terminal voltage and how does it behave when it is in a reverse bias mode okay so you read the module is already uploaded in a virtual classroom okay so uh, you need to submit uh, this the output of this on or before April 23rd so thank you and good day.